Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Um, today is Thursday. I know that. Um, and this is going to be a, probably a long, controversial video. So I just want to prepare you uh, ahead of time to take some time at whatever point you want in your life to listen to this video. It's not really for the general public, per se, because it's kind of irrelevant. I'll be talking irrelevancy to them because that's not where a lot of people are. And so, and so that's where as teachers, you have to know what, to, how much knowledge to, um, to share with your students. You always, that's why we go to kindergarten, right? Then we go to first grade, second grade. Third. There are stages of development of learning. Okay. And what I've uh, noticed, uh, for a while, at least, is this uh, this 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 tendency for uh, people? Who, cause, all right, because remember, I said all of us are on a different conscious level of uh, evolution, or on a different um, vibrational. All of us are okay, and none of us are necessarily the same per se. But we, some of us, will align up together. All right. You know, so that means when I say a line up together, we, we come together either as a couple, you know, you know, in a, in an intimate relationship or as like-minded. All right. And usually, um, those things of how that comes about all depends on the consciousness level, right. Of, of individuals. And so the higher your consciousness, the more you can have an impact on your reincarnations or your future personalities. But all of those personalities are developed in the present, in the now. And I told you, you want to, you want to be very, very, very uh, aware and conscious when you start going back on who you were in, 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 in former personalities. Okay. You want to be extremely careful about that situation and I'll tell you why in a minute you always want to be in the now so that you can plan your future which is your certainty anytime you keep going back you know you're going in the past you're getting stagnated and you're not really progressing forward you kind of you, you're sending yourself backwards and I'll tell you why in a minute so there always are stages of development when you're teaching people Okay, whether you're a teacher, messenger, a prophet, a lot of people want to call themselves prophet, fine. Your titles are irrelevant. Okay, because remember I said a leader sees everybody on equal playing field. If you're a leader, you see everybody as equal. You can care less who they were because it is irrelevant as to what your former what your former personalities were. That's irrelevant. And you don't want to spend so much time being all... all um, worked up in that and all excited about that because um in the past there were there are always there are always people that can forecast things these are visionaries all right they can forecast stuff and they know a lot about what happened in the past but they know better to not be 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 so concerned about it because it's irrelevant all right now tell you I, again I'll get to why it's irrelevant who you were Okay, who you were in a former life is irrelevant. All it is is just a chain of events of how you are evolving yourself. Like I said, you start in kindergarten and you work your way up. Okay, a lot of people who, and that's why people like to read poems and uh, 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 give these kind of forecasting readings, which you ought to stop that immediately if that's what you're doing. And I'll tell you why, all right? Um, I also told you, I've, I've also said that this particular time in our history right now has never, there is nothing like it anywhere in the universe. Okay. Our particular situation right now is dire. Okay. And I'll, you know, and, I, and I, I've said that I told you overpopulation is the main culprit of that. All right. And I told you about the energy. Everything's energy. 
And so our thoughts and the energy, how it's swinging all over the universe and we're all crashing into each other and this and that and the other. And we're causing a, a major, major, major disturbance. Okay. Now, again, when you are a teacher, messenger, prophet, or whatever you want to call yourselves, a spiritual leader, this and that and the other, you, you know the dangers of giving people too much information all at once. Okay. And when you're giving people too much, uh, too much information all at once, you're doing it in reading palms, you're doing it in uh, fu fu uh, future forecasting, or and in most cases, most people, what people are doing is diverting backwards about former lives and how, their former personalities. And there's, that's where the danger is. Okay. That's where the danger is. And I think, the, I think we've, um, might have caused some irrepla ir irreparable damage to some of our well-meaning uh, uh, activities and the damage is to yourself. All right. Now listen to me carefully. And like I said, this, this, this information is, is irrelevant for people that are not uh, associating themselves with reincarnation. And that's fine. You know, I, I appreciate you if you want to just listen, but it may not be anything that is, that's your concern. Okay, because you got other, you you're working on another phase of your of elevation of your consciousness, and you're not ready to be concerned about reincarnation because you ought not to be. You don't need to be concerned about it. I mean, it it, it exists whether you accept it or not, just like death does, right? So, no matter how much you talk about avoiding death, what happens? Absolutely nothing. You you're gonna die, right? But but you should feel some comfort to know that you do reincarnate. So that should offer people if you if you still are on the fence about reincarnation, uh, that should offer you some comfort at least to know. Okay, I everything does not just end with me. It does have there is a future certainty that you know. But but you have to attach your you you have to detach your materialness from that though which is your ego or, you know, something of that effect. You don't want to be attaching your material personality to the future. You want to attach your spiritual to the future. Your spiritual is the only thing that can guarantee certainty for you. You know, I mean, instead of having so much uncertainty, there's always going to be a levels of uncertainty. I mean, that, that comes with the, comes with the territory, but, if you are attaching your physical, you know, a, a physical of who you were, say, say, say you were, you know, some, 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 some high level scientist, some high level entertainer, some, you know, somebody on a higher level of consciousness, scientists, you don't want to be so concerned about what you were per se, because, because that's over. When you, okay, your former personalities do not evolve, okay? If you were a former personality, that personality is, 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 has not evolved since they died, okay? Since their death, they have not evolved, okay? Now, there are certain, certain um, situations that, like I said, that make our planet so unique, but so deadly at the same time. Okay. Again, there are certain things about our planet and our situation right now that is, is unique and at the same time dangerous. Okay. So that's why certain parameters had to come in and, and, and do, and, and, and give us opportunities after, after, after opportunities, after opportunities. And I'll, and I'll come back to that. So, Again, do not associate yourself so much about who you were because they have not evolved since they died. So if you have a, a, a personality that you are so attached to after being, after learning that, that, that may be possibly your personality, you're going to be stuck in the 1600s. You're going to be stuck in the 1500s. You're going to be stuck in the 1700s, 1800s. That's where you're going to be stuck because that's as far as they've gone. They do, they do not evolve when they're dead. That, you know what I'm saying? That personality. That's when you come in as a reincarnation. 
Now, as a reincarnated, you have no association at all with those former personalities. None. You have no connection. I mean, you have a connection of a lineage only, but you have no, no association with what that personality was. You are responsible for create. See, that's why it's so, that's why it's so, um, that's why it's so dangerous to know who you were because then you, especially if you, if you were famous, you know, if, if your former personalities were famous, if your former personalities were high level scientists, and even if your personalities were higher level, uh, uh, beings and, and, and half, half spiritual, half, uh, human, right? Yeah. Half, uh, half spiritual, half material. Even if you were those, 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 uh, personalities or entities or human beings or whatever, you know, they, they stop evolving in some cases right there. Okay. So that means you're not, you're not. And so when you become who you are, you, 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 you are who you are for a reason. Okay. It's not to be associated with those people at all. And that's where the mistakes are. We're making mistakes of, of uh, being so concerned about who we were and who, who our personalities were. And, and you need to, and if you're doing that, you need to stop that immediately. Okay. You need to stop it immediately because what you're doing is you're stunting and you're in stagnation with that previous personality and you're not paying attention to who you are right now, who you are right now is what's important, not who you were right now. Okay. So, so keep this in mind. I told you about Malona. All right. Malona had, um, some high level consciousness people, uh, you know, and then of course it, of course it got mixed up with other people, just like every other planet. Every planet has a high level, high conscious person on it. All, all planets do. Okay. But most planets operate properly by not making a big deal out of that. So what? They see everybody is equal. Okay. Some of these people are high, have a high consciousness level to, to be there for people to teach them. If they ask, if people are asking them questions, but you don't need to be leading. You really don't need to be leading them as if you are the leader of them, that you own them because that's all that is. You, so what happens with us? And that's unfortunate is when people know that, we have these, these certain type of uh, abilities because it's because a lot of us do. Um, a lot of people will gravitate towards it. That's fine. But then they start worshiping these people. And that's, that's where the error is. That's where it, always the problem. They start worshiping these people. And then guess what? Those people think they're gods. Now these people think they are above these people that are following them and worshiping them because these people are telling them that how wonderful they are. And, you know, you used to be so-and-so and my goodness. And, and I told you, you have no association per se with that former personality. All you have is there. You have some in there. You have their, um, their information in your our storage banks and your subconscious. That's it. You have no other association with those people at all. None of your for, former personalities. Okay. You ought to see them as a stranger, sort of speak a stranger in personalities. Okay. Because I can guarantee you who you are right now. You wouldn't be near that person that you were because you won't have much interest in it actually. And you have to keep in mind, we have, we are at least 10 million to 25 million years old in our reincarnation. So to be focusing on one, that's where you stop. That's where, you know, if you focus on one personality, that you were out of a million, out of 25 million, 25 million years of reincarnation. And those are the people that usually people that are in that high 25 million, they've done this before. They've been there and they've done that. And all, and so if you keep going backwards, I mean, if you keep going back in the past, you're going to start reversing and you're going to be right back there where you were, especially with some, with some that you're so, so attached to. So let's talk about Malona for a minute. Malona apparently had, in my opinion, had some very high level personalities on that planet. Okay. 
fantastic. But keep in mind, that planet was de completely destroyed with those personalities on there. Those high level personalities were on that planet, were born on that planet. Okay. But yet they managed to blow up the planet. And now that planet circles our solar system as a material belt. Where's the, why is that so fascinating? If anything, that's, that should have been a wake up call. If you knew that that's, if you claimed that's who you were and certain personalities, that should have been a wake up call to say, uh oh, because what you're doing is you're heading towards the same fate. F-A-T-E. Where now this planet is in the, on the verge of being destroyed too. And here you are, you're, you're going to be alive to witness it. Okay. Everything's energy. It's not about the personalities or who we were. Okay. And like I said, again, there are, there's a group of us, you know, a large portion of us who call ourselves space, tra uh, space travelers. And that's, 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 that's more truthful than not actually, but it's irrelevant. Okay, because if we if we do associate ourselves as space travelers, we're living a miserable, struggling existence sometimes. Or we have more of a burden. Not so, you know, we have more of a uh, responsibility. Let's put it that way. It's not that you're struggling because nobody wants to be admitting that. And that's fine. You don't need to be saying that you're struggling. You don't need to say anything. But you have a, a, a certain level of responsibility on your shoulders. In other words, you can't really be sometimes, you know what I mean? There's a lot of demands on you. People want, want you, want to see you and then you don't want to be seen, but you know that you have this high level of, uh, uh, creativity and you have a high level of consciousness, you know, you know, you're, you're high, you're vibrating on a high level of consciousness. And so that's going to make people attractive to you. And there's not a thing you can do about it, actually. It's because of it, it is energy. So that's why I say a lot of these uh, people that have this high level of consciousness, they usually work in, in, creative, in creative fields, whether it's music, whatever, whatever. Mostly music or anything to do with voice as they're speaking, as they're singing. That's where, that's where it is for them, Okay. So please, if you are operating off of uh, information you've learned about your past, erase it, not erase it, but, ign but make it irrelevant because you need to be focused on now. You're, you're you, who you are now for a reason. And that's why a lot of people are probably missing their alignments as well with people because they're so, they're so, they're so, so, so in love about who they were or they feel so important about who they were. And, they're, and, they're, and, and, and that person that you were has nothing necessarily to do with you, who you are now. They're just there in your storage bank. Store, their information about them is in your storage bank. If you need some information, that's it. You don't want to be associating yourself with those people because that, 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 you're separate. They're, you know, it's like you're walking, you're walking on the same path, but you're different people each time. And remember, we've been doing this for 10 million to 25 million years. Okay. So to be, be concerned, that's like being concerned with a grain of, of sand of millions of other grains of sand that are tens of millions of grains of, t of sand that surrounds you. You're concerned about one piece of it when there's billions and, you know, and our lives go on for billions of years. All right. We do not become fine and spiritual or the fine spiritual energy connected to whatever. And I'm not going to go there because people who know what I'm talking about know what, what happens. You know, you reconnect, reconnect. It's all energy. It's not my, it won't be my physical body doing that. And that's what we, that's what we can't see. Okay. We can't see that we are not our visible bodies. We are energy. But our, but if you are a visionary type person, you are, you have a bit more of an advantage to visualize something to, to happen 
and, and, and it to materialize. Okay. And so that's why a group of people can be together during several lifetimes. Sometimes you might skip a lifetime, give, you know, and allow somebody to stay in the beyond. And, and that means you stay in a deep sleep of learning everything you've learned and you're trying to catch it up and download it, blah, blah, blah. People that, you know, the people who, who are listening to me, cause I know that some of you are, you are like gatekeepers. You're listening to stuff that I am saying and other people are saying, and then you're running back and telling people. Okay. And so did that, so did that. So it, you know, so it can, um, so it can, uh, you know, you're like a gatekeeper. Some of you are like gatekeepers. You, you're like pe peering in and listening to somebody talking. And so, you, you know, peering in, watching people talking, walking, watching people give presentations. And then you take that information that you, you, that you're picking up from that person whoever's talking or teaching, and then you run and try to disseminate it via your voice instead of just allowing those people to come to the, come to the messenger. Nobody likes to do that. And that's fine. I don't, I, I mean, I can care less. And I know a lot of us who do teach, we do like to be alone. We like to be in our aloneness in regard to developing our spirituality or developing our consciousness evolving our consciousness we'd like to be alone with that because that's so it actually is so important because we do understand the might of our thoughts and the energy that it, 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 and, and, and any any deviation can 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 cause you know can just screw up the whole process and overpopulation is the main thing doing it because like I said, we're, we're crashing our thoughts into each other. So we don't have a clear vision sometimes about what we're picking, what we hear, what we feel and what we see and what we sense and receive because there's just too much interference and it's all energy. Okay. So like I said, um, you know, if you, you know, so like Malona, again, Malona had all these high level, high level spiritual human beings. Okay, they were, they were, you know, they were, but yet they managed to still destroy, <clears throat> completely destroy that planet. And so what happened? And so if you were, and then, so if you were on that planet and, you know, and a lot of them, there was probably this back and forth as well about, you know, intelligence and how intelligent I am and, you know, <clears throat> you know, focusing so much on your intelligence of a material level and not focusing on your consciousness of energy and spirit. That's where you're supposed to have been all the time. But we always gravitate back down into our physical and how we look and how we this and that and the other. And we stay and we stay close associated with all of that physicalness, materialness. And we're not seeing that it's energy. And so energy is 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 invisible. Right. But it has the most, it has more force than, uh, you know, than the atom almost, I don't know how many times over. Right. And, and the destruction that it could cause unlike, <clears throat> yeah, the atom does cause some major damage. We all know that with the, the, you know, dropping of a two bomb, you know, those, uh, nuclear bombs, uh, back in the forties, we're all feeling the effects of that. Okay. So imagine dealing with that, that creational force of energy. We can be blown to bits and, and, and not exist, you know. So we just have to know what we're dealing with. And see, and the reason why I'm talking about creational energy, there are people that are fascinated by that because they know it exists. And that's where they're going for. And that's where there's going to be a tragedy unlike anything this planet. Uh, well, you know, because look, keep in mind. <clears throat> Planet Earth, you know, uh, is trillions and trillions of years old. Okay, so this is so dealing with humans is not the first rodeo, so to speak, for Planet Earth. Okay, Planet Earth evolves too. Okay, Planet Earth knows what's on this planet as far as the energy level and where it is, whether it's high or low, high or low. Planet Earth knows that. You know, it's the energy. So, Planet Earth wants to su survive too. It's a, it's, it's a living, uh, entity as well. A living being planet earth is a living being and it doesn't need humans at all. As a matter of fact, and that's, what's going to happen 
planet Earth is just going to wipe out the majority of them based on their energy. It's going to be an energy-based uh, elimination, sadly. And when I say sadly, is because some people are still operating off of these low vibrationals. Earth does not have any room for that anymore. Okay, like I said, Earth needs to be, the, the, the burden needs to be less, I mean, you know, the, the Earth needs to, to lift some of this burden off of it because, because what humans are doing is destroying everything because of that energy, low vibrational energy. You know, that constant low vibrational energy is planet Earth knows that's destructive and destroying Atlantis, Mu, okay, and other civilizations. What it turns, everything always turns into a, a destruction and chaos and humans get wiped out their memories get wiped out they don't know who they were per se because they always was focusing mostly on their physical and you know they're you know like these adontes these good looking human beings these forecasters you know these high spiritual forecasters you know they were getting a whole lot of attention you know they got the women or the men or the you know or the children, you know, following them and glorifying them and praising them and throwing them up to these pedestals of, of leadership. Nobody belongs up in a pedestal of leadership. You're supposed to be right down in the same, whether you high or low in your vibration, you still are equal to everyone on this planet. You're no better and you're no worse either. Okay. You don't, you don't have, you don't need people following you and dragging you down because of what you what you are capable of because you are capable of doing the same thing if you're listening to yourself and you listen to teachers okay we have a very powerful teacher on this planet okay most people ignore him and he and as a matter of fact he he likes that okay that's why that's why he has other people doing this work of dissemination he doesn't want to be bothered, and I don't blame him. About you know about this uh, this 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 process of how we need to be raising our consciousness, because it's a physically draining process when all people focus on is whether it's their past, they want to go, they want to, they want to leapfrog all the way through to the future. Okay. So I'm going to make this very clear to those of you who are making these forecasts. Well, you're not really necessarily making a forecast. You are taking these people back to what they were, and that's irrelevant. So now you are in a position right now to where you are reversing yourself as well because you're being so closely associated with what you were to where now you don't understand that this planet is about to be destroyed. Okay. This planet is about to be destroyed, which means that once again, human beings are going to be completely wiped out and there's going to be always, there's always going to be some that survive. You know, I'm going to be one of them <laughs> unless I need to get off the planet somehow. Okay. And that, and that, and I can forecast, I forecast that, that along the way, I'm going in the right path. And so I'm not concerned for me, but I, I am concerned for people that are in the same boat as, as I am. Cause it's not just me, it's thousands and thousands and thousands. It might even be millions of us that know what we're supposed to do, but we're not. We're getting, we get, we, we still have not worked on the ego. And a lot of that is because we lack experience. Okay. Uh, we lack experience. We do not want to get our hands dirty. We just want everybody else to be be all rolling in the dirt and getting dirty and getting hurt, you know, and being disappointed and being made a fool of. You know, you have to have that kind of those kind of experiences. You know, you have to deal with psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists. You need to know what that mean, what that feels like, what that what you hear and what you see when you're dealing with those type of personalities. It's about universal love at the end of the day. 
It's about universal love. But you can't have universal love if you keep trying to uh, deny that you are just a ordinary human being like everybody else. And so you need to get your ass out there and work with people, be in people's faces, okay, and not think you can just sit on a computer all day and 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 that's 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 enough for you. No, it is not. Now, if you are like myself, I'm going to be a, considered a remote worker, you know, you know, working remotely online sometimes, but I'm going to be doing a lot of face to face. Once I get settled in my little quaint, busy city, which I plan to do in the, in the coming days and times, you know, near, you know, it's near, I'm going to be in a little, in, in a quaint town. I see it where, 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 where there's human beings in the room. Not computers and cell phones. There are going to be human beings in the room and we're going to be talking face to face and talking about theories and opinions and talk about solutions and this and that and the other. And we're going to be living in paradise. Okay. While every, while everything else around the planet is, is going to be dealt with uh, how mother nature sees it and how mother nature, uh, uh, you know, corrects itself. So again, there are going to be things happening all over, all over across the country where we're not going to know that it's happening. And it's like that for a reason. Okay. Because say, for example, um, okay. Say for example, you knew in four months, you knew in six months that this planet was going to be completely destroyed. What, what would you do? What would you do? If you knew with certainty that in four months, six months, a year, that this planet was going to be completely destroyed, what would you do? Now, if you blow your head off, guess what's going to happen? You're going to reincarnate yourself back as someone completely different, and you're going to be reliving some of those similar experiences. And and, and in other words, you're just going to stay in deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, until that day does come. And the planet is destroyed. Okay. So. Um, I just want to make this very clear. To everyone that's. That's attempting. See, and, and also when you keep worrying so much about. What you were in the past. Okay. And that you are. You know you feel like you're so superior. And you're leader in your. In your. In your uh, consciousness development. And this is a scientist too. Scientists engineers, all of that, all of you, okay? Because there's a variety of all type of consciousness levels on a planet. It has to be that way. Uh, I want to focus on what I am now, and that's what I do. That's why I know what my destiny is, because it was planned, it was pre-planned. And so if, 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 so if I'm, if I know this, Chances are the other person ought to know that, but if they're just operating on, on past events and they can't get out of their past, they, that's how people miss alignments too. Cause they're, you know, cause they're distracted and they're not paying attention. And so they miss that energy of that person, whether you see them and, and it's, it's like I said, I'm a visual. I know what I see. Okay. Whether well, people want to say, okay, I was an avatar. I was a, uh, clone I was a uh you know th- now unfortunately and sadly because we are so low in our vibration yes you're going to be manipulated for the rest of your life if you didn't capture these uh, these moments of alignment with people before all this technology now this technology is in yes I can guarantee almost 85 percent of the time you're going to be manipulated about um, if all the information that's coming to you, because you're not thinking on your own to try to figure stuff out. You're just taking these people's word for it because they are, you know, they tell you that, that they're, they're, that they're this and they tell you that in other words, they're manipulating you. Unfortunately, sometimes high level people do that. I told you about the, the eye of God. Okay. That was a human being of extremely high level consciousness. And they did, they caused that. Okay. Um, 
So I just want to say this to those of us that are operating in, in a dissemination capacity, meaning that we're doing everything in our power to help people. All right. Just remember that, that they are, we are all equal and whether people listen to us now or in the future, because I know that the majority of what we're doing is going to be discovered in the future anyway, by these, by people that are children now and they become adults and they're going to, and that's why I said the children, you know, our children and our descendants are going to be, you know, they're not going to be happy with, you know, they're not. So they're not going to be happy and they're going to suffer, suffer major, major, major consciousness De uh, uh, development issues. In other words, they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to, to 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 handle it. And so a lot of them are gonna keep trying to, you know, they're gonna blow their heads off, and then then they're back in the same situations, similar, you know, different person but similar experiences. Boom. So, so and that's what happens too when you are so focused, like I said, so focused on who you were. Well, keep in mind, most of the time our our past personalities were dealing with major major hit situations. Okay, and if we had been equal in doing what we were supposed to do, none of this would be, the, none of the things that we're dealing with now would be relevant. Okay, and I and I'm I'm just assuming that a lot of, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, um, you know, it's just like, you know, like we like we glorify a lot of people that have died. And that's, you know, that's something we're going to have to work out at some point in the future where, yes, we can honor people that have, that have passed. That's, that's the best thing we can do is honor them and appreciate their, their, their services to this planet in whatever way possible, like Michael Jackson. Okay. Michael Jackson operated off a of universal love. Okay. But unfortunately he got himself manipulated by these nefarious people who took advantage of him and and brainwashed him? I think all of I think all of the Jacksons possibly have were brainwashed. This is my opinion. All of the Jacksons were brainwashed to believe that their dad, a black man, was the problem. And I think that was all a setup. And I think that was all intentional to break that family up. Just like segregation was a manipulation, a brainwash, an intentional act. To break up black culture. Okay. Is it coming together? It ought to. Okay. So again, stay in the now. Stay with who you are now. Okay. And 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 be, you know, you, you if the if you have all the proof in the world that you are aligning with people or you're aligning with the person, you need to be focusing on that. So that you can continue to evolve yourself, because if you if if you if if it was revealed to you that you're aligning with someone, that means that you are evolving and you're being able to pick up on sensing and receiving. If you keep denying it and say, "Oh no, no, no," all right, so that means you're denying an opportunity to learn and advance and raise your consciousness level. So it's going to take another personality to do it. So I just hope all that makes sense. I know I'm talking a whole lot. But I know, I know certain people are listening to me. Like I said, they're gatekeepers. They they pick up on stuff I'm saying and then they go run and tell their group about it. And which is fine because um, as long as it's not any, any way to, to make yourself more than you are, right? Because we're supposed to be learning from each other. We're equal. All of us are equal. Equal teachers. Equal messengers. Okay. So as long as you are putting stuff out in a um, a genuine, and I can tell that the people that are, you know, that are, are presently out there that I can recognize as a part of this, yes, yes, I can I can visually and sense and receive that you are doing the right things, and I appreciate you so much. And you know who you are. I don't need to tell you. Okay, you can be seemingly my enemy for all I know. Okay, so I, cause I pay attention to a lot of stuff, and even though my, all of my shit is being filtered in some way, where I don't get all the content of what's going on around the world, I don't need to. Okay, I don't need to, cause I do meditate and I sense and receive, and I can pick up stuff that way. Um, 
just like they did in the did they have televisions and computers back in the day no they did not what did they have visionary forecasters that all they had to do is look towards the cosmos look towards the universe and you don't even have to do that you don't have to look anywhere you can just sit and close your eyes but or you can just sit and stare ahead you can still get that same kind of information that comes to you okay so i'm gonna stop it right there I hope whoever's listening, <laughs> they probably say, what is she talking about? And that's fine. Um, I, I know what I'm talking about. And I do want to send love out to people, like I said, who are genuinely um, um, know what know what they're doing. And I, and I can I know who you are. I can tell because I'm picking up your energy. And, and I know a lot of you had to come out of your comfort zones and you didn't want to. And I understand that because, yes, you just want to be alone in that in that process of uh, because we're supposed to, but yet nobody, most of our planet is not. So that's why teachers have to come in and help these people raise their vibration. But I know a lot of us just want to be living our lives and living in our paradise. And you can, and, and at some point you will. Okay. At some point you will, like I said, because most of, most of the like-minded people like myself, we're going to come together at some point. We have to, we have to separate out of where we are currently and be together somehow in some way and we'll we'll just have to work that out and let everything else er, let let earth let uh, planet earth take care of the rest of it because we are too small of a group to make an impact with 10 billion people but it doesn't mean we need to stop but the most of the impact is not going to happen right because i because i was reading i had started re- rereading stuff again there was a planet that had 120 120 billion people on it i guess and after they had a major catastrophe because that's only a billion people are were left out of 120 billion only a billion people survive out of 120 only a billion survive and then on the other planet i think i told you acard acard had um i think 35 million i'm sorry 35 billion people on it and and it um when that planet was uh, was wiped out. And when I say it was wiped out, uh, the majority of the people went to sleep and didn't wake up because they couldn't breathe. And so they died in their sleeps. Uh, but ACAR had 35 billion people on it. And I think they were only managed, they were only able to save 115 million out of 35 billion. So that's just something to take can con- that's something to contemplate, meditate, and use it create use it as a creative tool. What I'm saying, or disregard it and swipe, and have a good day. So I want to send peace and love, everybody. And trust me, I'll be back.